Okay, so I've got this little 26-inch Samsung LCD set here. Got it laying face down. I'm in the process of troubleshooting it. Just wanted to show you a couple things. I uh, just made a video on uh, troubleshooting a uh, Toshiba with a distorted picture. And a couple other tips to give you on, on this set. Uh, I'm going to be checking the LVDS cable as I did on the Toshiba TV. And I've got my scope set up over here, so I'm just going to zoom over to the scope. So I've got it set up where hopefully you can see the scope as well as the waveform that's going to be on the scope at the same time. So what I've done is I put my probe in one of the pins of the LVDS cable and you can see that it's a positive going signal. And if I look at the other pin directly across from it, it's the exact same signal but negative going. That's how they call it a low voltage differential signal and it's really not very much voltage. But what I'm going to do, I'll have it on my scope here. I'm going to go on the other one because I like to look at the positive side. Uh, I'm going to press the menu button on the TV and you can see that on the scope it did change. Press the menu to get the menu off the screen. So I assume that that thing right there probably says no signal. Of course you can't see it because the, the set actually has no picture whatsoever. And then that's when the menu is up. You can actually see that the menu has come up. So I'm going to check the other pins of the LVDS cable to make sure that we see uh, the same thing. Want to see data on them going across here. And it looks like this one is only a maybe a 4-bit LCD panel. So there's one, two, three, four. It looks like only a 4-bit panel because it's only a 26-inch set. So it doesn't have to have a heck of a lot of data. So let's check the opposite side to make sure that we have everything displayed as necessary to drive the panel. And we do, okay. Looks very good there. So a couple things to check on the timing controller board. Okay, so I've got my voltmeter here on DC volts and of course, as always, the negative lead is grounded to the chassis ground. And I'm just gonna measure a couple little IC regulators that we know we've had bad on some other sets here. This one is labeled 3.3, so I wanna make sure I see 3.3 volts on the tab on that one. Here's the voltage going in, these pins, I don't know if you can see them, but they're all commonly tied together. We should have five volts on there, and we do. This regulator is labeled 2.5 volts, and we have exactly 2.5 volts on this one. And because I see a coil here, I know that there's like a flyback generator here, and I wanna check on the cathode side of the diode closest to the coil, and I see 13 volts, so I'm relatively sure the timing controller power supply portion is working adequately. The next thing I'll do is I'm going to get my scope out and I'm actually going to look at the pulses going from the timing controller board into the LCD panel to determine is it the TCON that's bad or is it the panel itself. So I'm just going to move the camera over to the scope. Okay, so the signal going into the panel is very small in comparison to the LVDS cable because the LCD panel doesn't require much to drive it whatsoever, but as you can see there, I'm looking across at these signals and as I'm pressing the menu button, I can see changes. So I'm pretty sure that I've got a bad LCD panel here and that my timing controller board is working correctly because I'm going across looking at these various pins here. And I'm pressing the menu button on and off and you can actually see it changing on the scope there. So, pretty sure we're looking at a bad LCD panel on this one. I think I'll take the frame off the panel real quick and try to press on the tabs and see if the video might come back on. Okay, so I've got the um, frame off the TV and I'm going to start by just removing the screws around the LCD panel. Okay, so I've got all the screws out and it's just a matter of simply lifting the screen frame out of the way. And now it, 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 you can actually lift the complete glass panel out of these TVs. They're, uh, they're a little more durable than you would think they would be. You can actually bend them and flex them just a little bit. But I've got the set set up, so I'm going to hit the power button on the TV. Well, actually, there is no power button. I just plugged it back in. So Samsung's remember that they were on last, but you can see... Uh, the backlight is late. You can see it glowing here. And of course, if I if I lift it up, oh, there it just came on as I wiggled the panel. And so I'm sure that one of these tabs 
uh, is defective because I had no on-screen display before whatsoever. Interesting. Yeah, see as I press that one, it causes the picture to move up and down. I can't change inputs because I don't have the keypad or the anything else connected to it, but I know this is the problem. So as I'm pressing this tab right now, you can see it's not moving and it's, it's becoming uh, very distorted on the picture as well. I don't know if I could uh, possibly zoom in a little more so that you could catch that there, but as I release the tab, you can see it starts updating the frame rate. I'm at a very uh, odd angle right now so the camera doesn't look good, but that's what's going on there. I'll press and hold it and you can see that it has stopped moving and the flashing has stopped so it's not updating the signal into the LCD panel right now. So the problem is definitely uh, got a bad tab. And uh, I, this is one reason I don't recommend LCD TVs to anyone just because I probably see two of these a week come through the door. They're out of warranty and it's just not cost effective to try to put an LCD panel into one of these TVs. Um, you can get uh, rebuilt panels at a reasonable price but you have to pay for the shipping and it's just cost prohibitive especially on a 26 inch TV to put uh, what would be probably a $150 panel into the set plus another 50 bucks to ship it both directions because they want the core back to rebuild it and uh, it's just not worth it so just can't recommend uh, LCD TV it's had too many problems even with the LEDs but anyhow there is the diagnosis to the problem it's definitely got a bad tab bond um, but um, real quick way to troubleshoot to determine exactly what's going on so I thought I'd show you real quick on this one it's a, a Chai Mei Optoelectronics or CMO panel and uh, this one is a V260B1-L04 and um, I thought I'd show you the model real quick uh, this one is it's the model is LNT2642HX Lincoln Nancy Tom 2642HX with the Chime A or CMO panel in it so what I did on this one is I I took this piece of foam and uh, I just cut it with the scissors to get a nice little piece and uh, if you watch my other video uh, about the Sanyo that had a half a distorted picture um, did the same thing with it it seemed to hold pretty good but you know by no means is applying any kind of uh, foam or latex uh, tubing to apply pressures is it by any means a long-term solution uh, to this problem but I did put the foam up in there it's holding right now uh, the set seems to be working well at least temporarily and um, we'll run it over the next few days and see what happens but I mean I can't charge my customer for this because it, it's not going to hold I can't guarantee it and I don't send anything out of here unless I can guarantee it it does surprise me however that with all the panels that I personally have seen that were defective and not as a result of abuse that uh, there hasn't been some type of a class action litigation against these panel manufacturers for just uh, the implied warranty. I mean, you would think that you would get more than a couple of years out of this set. So uh, everything else has been uh, class action uh, lawsuited against, capacitors, DLP chips. Um, I mean, all kinds of things have done it, but this, this is a very major problem. And uh, I would think that you should be able to get more than just a couple of years out of one of these LCD panels. So anyhow, I've got it back together. I've got it out of program and it's holding for now, like I said. Just wanted to give you that last update on it. Uh, once again, uh, as always, thank you for all your views, your support, uh, comments and questions. I do try to answer them as much as I possibly can, but I can't answer every single one, unfortunately. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, NorCal715. I uh, appreciate all your uh, views. Uh, with your help, we can try to keep these things out of the recycle bin, although I think this one may be headed to the recycle bin itself. Once again, thanks for watching, and have a great day.